Hello, my loves. Welcome to your weekly love reading. <coughs> Excuse me. For Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs for April 19th through the 25th. Okay. So, guys, let's go ahead and get shuffled up here. Holy Spirit, Angel Spirits and Guides, what clarity and guidance, what love messages do we have for my Virgos, please? For April 19th through April 25th, what clarity and guidance, what love messages do my Virgos need to hear today? For April 19th through April 25th, please. Holy Spirit, Angel Spirits and Guides. All right, my loves, so if you are currently subscribed, welcome back, and if you have yet to do so, please be sure to click that red subscribe button. I do choose multiple winners every week for free readings. I give away tarot cards, oracle cards, palo santo, sage, jewelry. Um, it's a lot of fun, so be sure to like, share, comment, subscribe. Click that notification bell so you know when my readings post and you know when the winners are announced, okay? Um, I am still taking personal readings, guys. Um, I have actually extended the sale to May 1st, 2020. So if you do go ahead and book a reading, please be sure to follow the instruction on the website, okay? Um, in the description box below, you'll find my Instagram link, my new channel, Divine Spirit Healing 1111, which I just posted a video um, about third-party situations on there if you guys want to check it out. Um, and we're going to be starting more videos uh, as of next week. I'm just waiting for some equipment to come in. Um, there's a whole bunch of stuff down there for you guys to check out. So Virgo, let's get into your um, pre-shuffle message. So I feel that either you or your person, okay, uh, it, it, take it as it resonates, someone here is waiting on somebody. And the more they wait the more angry they're becoming or obsessive they're becoming. Um, the more somebody wants to get that message in or somebody wants to come in and balance out the scales. So it's almost like the more someone here waits, the more they yearn, the more love that they want to give. Okay, the more it's like someone here is actually falling in love because of the waiting process. Okay. Under the deck, we have the Emperor, Aries, Taurus energy. So I feel this energy of wanting to possess, wanting to take control. How does an emperor get his land? He comes in and he wants to conquer, okay? So the more somebody holds back, the more you have this energy of wanting to conquer them, okay? Or vice versa, Virgo. The more you hold back from somebody, the more they want to conquer you okay so because somebody here is making themselves unattainable the more somebody becomes obsessive about wanting to possess them okay i know that sounds kind of like <laughs> but you know like wanting to to have them okay so let's see what we have here guys let's see what energy we're in spirit what messages do we have for my virgos please spirit what clarity and guidance what love messages okay so first chakra all right, so we're trying to stabilize how we feel or stabilize the situation. We're trying to heal from this. Um, or what I'm getting is the only way to heal the situation is to come in with more stability, okay? We have adjacent possibilities. And we have third chakra, okay? So what I feel here is that with adjacent possibilities, someone here maybe went to go pursue other options, possibly. Um, they were not stable in the connection, and now they have to come and heal it, and they're having anxiety because they don't know how. They don't know how to even out the scales here. They don't know how to come in and show this person, like, look, I'm ready. Do you understand? So there's, yeah, there's an indecision. Yeah, someone here was undecided on who they they wanted to give their heart to and you know they didn't show the appreciation and love you know that they should have shown and now maybe someone got you know cut off okay so let's see what we have here so we have the six of pentacles and the eight of wands the six of pentacles and the eight of wands we have the high priestess and the fool cancer piscean energy We have the Ace of Cups and the Judgment card, Sagittarian Energy. I love the Ace of Cups in this deck. And we have the Tower and the Seven of Swords. Oh boy. 
the tower and the seven of swords. Okay. So guys, what I'm seeing here is there was, um, yeah, someone here started talking to someone else. I mean, that's just plain and simple. Okay. Someone started talking to someone else with that six of pentacles and that eight of wands, um, with the high priestess and the fool. I feel that someone, someone's intuition started kicking off. Okay. Or this could have been a secret or something that, you know, obviously was very secretive. And with that fool card, somebody decided to go ahead and take that risk. Okay. To go towards the new love but this decision has caused a major tower moment in this in in this person's life so virgo this could be you could be your person um yeah, you know, running off, cheating, being deceptive has has caused some very very serious changes in this person's life. Okay? So let's see what we have here. We have the justice card, Libra energy and the 7 of wands. We have the World card and the Page of Swords, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra energy. We have the Five of Wands and the Chariot, Cancerian energy. Page of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy and the Sun, Leo energy. All right, so guys, what I'm feeling here So who you fell in love with was a third party. That and okay. So the energy that I was feeling in the pre-shuffle was waiting to go be with that third party. So someone here was in a connection and there was someone on the outside that they were yearning for. Okay, like I wonder if it'll work with that person. I wonder what's going on with that person. And the more they waited, the more obsessive they became in wanting to be with that person. But now they're realizing that that decision was not the best thing for them, okay? So what we have here on your person side is we have karmic justice and the seven of wands. So someone here got pushed away due to karmic justice. With that world card and the page of swords, um, I feel that someone here found out the truth and ended something, ended a karmic cycle, okay? With the five of wands and the chariot, um, I feel that this person, if you wanna come back in Virgo, or if they want to come back in, you have to fight. Some of you may actually be dealing with a cancer with a chariot under energy here because I'm feeling really strongly the same feeling that I got in the Cancerian um, reading. But someone here with this five of wands and the chariot, they have to come in fighting. They have to come in fighting if they want to win. Okay, you you know, someone here has to either fight to get you back. Um, they have to fight to, to for reconciliation here. They have to fight to get their apology through. They're going to have to fight for the other person. So whoever here messed up and diff, dipped off to go to a third party is going to have to come back and fight for this connection. Okay. We have family, friends, and guides and new beginnings here. So I feel that this person here, this person that got hurt, their family, their friends, their inner, to inner intuition, their guides, their, um, their instinct is just telling them to move on and start new somewhere else, okay? And yeah, see, someone here has lost huge tower moments. Someone here has experienced major loss in their life due to this deception, Okay, someone here has has suffered major loss in their life due to this deception. So let's see what we have here. Oh boy, spirit, tell me about the six of pentacles, the magician. Virgo Gemini energy. Someone here wanted to work on something outside of their connection. Okay, they may have, may have been very manipulative about it. Tell me about the Eight of Wands, uh, the High Priestess. Yeah, they were talking to somebody in secret. Okay, Cancer Piscean energy. Tell me about this High Priestess. The Two of Cups, okay? Someone here started to feel that this 30, third party person may have been a soulmate or may they, they were falling in love. Tell me about the Fool. We have the Page of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy. So yeah, they were talking to somebody and they just ended up falling in love. They took that risk and went for it. Tell me about the Ace of Cups. We have the Hierophant, okay? We have the Hierophant, Taurus energy. Um, this per They wanted to offer the third party a real commitment, okay? They, they wanted to offer the third party a real commitment. Tell me about the Judgment card, the Sun. But now someone here is coming to a realization about this decision that was made okay tell me about the tower 
with the nine of wands, they're realizing that they've been blocked out of their blessing. They're realizing that they've they've put up a wall. They've they've blocked themselves from something here. Tell me more about this tower. Yeah, and they're regretting it big time with the nine of swords. Tell me more about this tower. Yeah, they've been abandoned and left out in the cold. So I feel that... Yeah, guys, someone here wants healing, and I don't know if they're going to get it. Tell me about the Seven of Swords. The Wheel of Fortune, Karmic Justice. So this is the Karmic Justice that from cheating, lying, being decept deceptive, sneaking off. Someone here, whoever did this, is getting their Karmic Justice, okay? Because they're regretting the decision for choosing the third party. You see, let me show you these cards, okay? You know, maybe that third party blocked them or maybe that third party put a wall up. Um, I'm not sure what happened there, but they're realizing it's hitting them like a ton of bricks that this person made a really bad decision, okay? They're coming to that realization. Spirit, tell me about this justice card. Yeah, someone here doesn't want to accept an apology. Tell me about the justice. Yeah, someone here, justice, healing, Aquarian energy, Libra energy. Someone here just doesn't want to hear it. Tell me about this. Yeah, they're like, nope, I'm out the door. I'm done. I'm done. They don't want to hear it. Tell me about the world. We've got the Emperor Aries Taurus energy. Um, this person is serious. They have their guard up. They're not. Ju they're very stubborn. It's going to be hard to get this person to budge. Tell me about the Page of Swords. We have the Eight of Cups here. Yeah, this person has come to the realization that it's time to walk away from this. Tell me about the Five of Wands. Four of Swords, okay? So listen, for whoever wants this connection to work, you got to get up off your ass and fight for it. That's just the bottom line. You know, I don't know if that's you, Virgo, or if that's them, if you're a cross-watcher. If you want this, you're not going to be able to just lay back and wait for it to come together. Saying, hey, listen, I'm sorry. I regret what I've done. You know, I'm sorry. You know what I'm saying? Coming in with this little apology, I'm sorry that I left you behind and I rejected you and I left you out in the cold to go to the third party that I really wanted to go play with. You know what I'm saying? That I was obsessed over. Um, you know, Coming in with an apology like that is not going to work, okay? You know, a simple little apology is not going to work here. Tell me about the seven of, the seven of, tell me about the chariot, please, spirit. The four of wands, okay? So someone here wants to come home. Someone here, I'm getting a sense if I want to come home, it could be a soulmate twin flame energy, but I feel like somebody wants their stability back. Somebody wants to come home, okay? Tell me about the Page of Cups. We have the Tower, okay? Someone here never expected to not be forgiven. They never expected Aquarius, Gemini, Libra energy. Someone here never expected for the wall to be put up, for them to have to really fight to come back home. Someone here, I feel, lost their home. They got kicked out of their home. They lost finances. Someone here is truly regretting this decision, okay? They're truly regretting this decision. Tell me about the sun. The nine of pentacles. I feel that here's the problem, okay? When the apology comes in, it's going to be, no, I'm, I'm happy on my own. Nine of pentacles, Virgo, I'm, I'm good all by myself. I'm happier on my own. I'm better off without you. So Virgo, that could be you telling it to this person, or that could be your, per you know, I, you could take it as it resonates. But the challenge here is the seven of pentacles, mistakes that were made in the past. And what's crossing the situation is that now with the four of pentacles, someone here is not letting go of that grudge. We have the five of cups and the hanging man. Yeah, now someone here is waiting and they don't know what to do. They're stuck in this energy of guilt and regret and just someone here is going, going through it. Virgo, I'm not going to lie. I don't know if it's you. If it is you, I kind of feel bad for you, even if you're the one who cheated or messed up. I don't know. But like, it's a bad energy. Someone here is really, really, really regretting this. Okay. So this emperor energy that I felt, that was the energy that was felt for the third party. There was a need to like, like someone here was in a relationship and because they couldn't have this third party, the obsession was overwhelming. Do you understand? So now, you know, they cut things off and then now that's out of their system. And now see what that emperor, and there you are. Yeah. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I feel here that, you know, you you were in a relationship here, King of Coins, Virgo Energy, and you allowed that fire, that passion to take over. You allowed that passion to take over when you should have blocked it out, okay? You should have blocked it out, but you were stuck in your head. You were, you know, someone here, I don't know if it was you, Virgo, but someone here was stuck in their head. So it was either you or your person. And with that Emperor card, there was a need to conquer somebody that they couldn't get their hands on. Um, and now they're truly realizing here, the mistake that they made so guys we'll take it into an extended let's see if there's going to be reconciliation because I, I don't, a lot of you might be dealing with a cancer or someone with cancer in their chart because cancer had a similar reading cancer was really serious like you had to fight to get them back okay it was it was along those lines and virgo i don't know what side you fall on but if you're the one who cheated and you're trying to get someone back you have to really fight for it or virgo if you were cheated on and somebody hurt you they have to be able to move mountains at this point to get you back Okay. All right, guys, I love you. The link for the extended will be in the description box below and it will be in the comment section. Take care, guys, and be safe.